Um, now, getting to the most complicated part of this show. <laughs> Can I do it? Actually, I'm not going I'm to. Sure you- because it's so complicated, I'm just going to explain it. Okay. So essentially, what you can do with the Super Joy, and I did, I did actually set this up. I just, I'm not going to do a live demo of it. I'm going to walk you guys through this. Okay. But the Super Joy is so flexible that you can do a lot of things. And one of the things our customers have been asking about is they want to auto track, but they want to set limits on the left and right, which we demoed today. Yes. Right. Um. So you can do something pretty cool with the Super Joy. You can, I'm gonna to, it's going to be technical, but I'm going to explain this. Okay, here we I go. better settle in here. All right, so bu- you can use one button to turn on and off auto tracking. That's nice. been around for a while, right? You can do that. But you can do almost anything with this Super Joy. Okay, so this button right here, if I click it, it's going to start auto tracking. So that camera is now tracking. I think it might be tracking you, it might be tracking John, I don't know who it's tracking. But I click the button again, and it stops tracking because that's what that button does. On, off, toggle. You still got three other buttons here. Now, one of the cool things that you can do is you can set a button to enable pan tilt limits. And then you can have another button set to clear those limits. So you could literally be like, hey, set the limits. I don't want that camera leaving the stage. I wanted to track the people on stage. Maybe I wanted to frame the people on stage, but I do not want it to leave the stage, so I put the limits on. But then, who knows? Maybe the president wants to kiss a baby. You know, I don't know what the reason why. <laughs> they're jumping off stage, and they're exceeding the limits that you've set. But you're like, oh, man, this president wants to kiss this baby right now. So you clear the limits, and boom, the camera can auto-track. The limits are gone. Now... Wow. How do you do that? Well, if we go back to my, um, yep, thank you, Mike. Go back over here. There is actually a hex command. It's in our documentation for setting pan tilt limits and clearing pan tilt limits. It looks like this. Um, no one in their right mind is going to memorize that. So clearly we have that in our documentation on how to do that. But this is something that is pretty cool. You can set the pan tilt zoom limits. And I just want to show here, how would you know, sorry, just give me one second here. How would you know um, what pan tilt limits you want to put into a hex code like that? Well, the way it works is that there is something called the camera management software. Let's see if I can pull this up. We have a lot of tabs here. Um, there's a software called the Camera Management Platform. It's totally free. It's called, it is the PTZ Optics CMP. And this software here, if I go ahead and start it up, and Mike, I've got it on my screen here now. Sorry, it took me a second. And I add a camera to it. I can go ahead and pull up a... Oh, you know what, Mike? I need to just refresh this. This is what the problem is. Sorry, I see what you're trying to do here. Okay, got it. Um, if I pull up the CMP here, I can add a camera. Let's just say I add this camera just for the heck of it. Um, one of the things that we'll notice here is that when we do PTZ control, at I have to zoom into this because it's so small, but this is, this is a really small little tech tip if this is something you're interested in doing. You can go into the pan tilt wow. variables here. So... Uh, basically, as I pan, you see those numbers changing? Yeah. That's the absolute position of the pan. The exact location. And the exact limit of the, the coordinates. Tilt. Now, what I'll do here, just to show you this, there's this tool called the PT Helper. And what it does, and I have to zoom into this because it's so small, uh, so that you guys can see this. But what it does is it says, hey, move the camera to the upper right corner of where you intend to set your boundary zone. And then you move it to the top right and you move it to the bottom left and that's how you set the pan tilt limits. That's how you do it with the, with the CMP. If you want to set it up with the SuperJoy, what you would do is you would take those values of the pan and tilt limits and you would plug those into a custom button into the SuperJoy using the PTZ Optics documentation provided and then you can set the pan tilt limits 
and clear them with the PTZ Optics SuperJoy on the fly as needed. We think that's pretty cool. Wow. It's super advanced. If you do, if you are doing that, hit us up. Let us know because that would be probably one of the most advanced things you can do with the SuperJoy. If you are on the fly, turning on and off auto tracking, setting limits, and then clearing them, you are the SuperJoy master. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that. Please hit you us win. up. You win. You have won the Super Joy game if you do that. I hope you do that. Uh, we all want you to do that. If you can, if you do that, hit us up because I did it. <laughs> I did it today. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah, that was sweet. So there you go. So you can always do that easily within the CMP if you want to then pre-program it with the Super Joy. Then it's an easy, easy toggle, toggle on and off. So you can kind of easily adjust that on the fly. Yeah, because I think if you do it in the CMP, it's a little bit, uh, it's not as like click a button done. Easy. You yeah. got to kind of go through this process. So it's not good for live. Yeah, okay. exactly. If you're live and you need to be able to let that president kiss the baby because he's jumping <laughs> off stage and you're like, whoa, I like my limits because, you know, because the whole thing with auto tracking is it's automated. Mm -hmm. So you're like, I'm not doing anything. I need to give this thing some parameters. So that it doesn't go into, you know, sometimes there's sensitive areas. Right. Yeah. It's like, what if like it starts tracking the guy backstage and then zooming in and yeah, he's kissing someone who's not his wife. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, bathrooms at live shows, conventions. Yeah, I mean, there's sensitive areas. Any shot that wanders there, you could have your whole stream. Oh my gosh, down. courtrooms. Yeah. You're never Absolutely. supposed to show the jury. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of scenarios where you don't want the camera to go, but it's automated. It's auto tracking. What am I going to do? Set the pan tilt. Paul, is that something you can do in each of these joysticks? Or is that something that like only the Super Joy can do? I'm going to say it's only the Super Joy because you can turn on and off auto tracking with the PT Joy G4, mm -hmm. but the PT Joy G4 doesn't have enough buttons to do the additional setting and sure. clearing of the um, mm -hmm. tilt limits. So you can change the limits in the CMP for your certain cameras which then the joysticks will follow because the cameras are limited to that distance. Yes. But the joysticks themselves can't set it like the Super Joy can. Right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs>